I'm going to throw you a bone here on this one, Bo. A couple years back, Michael Porter was a great prospect and a great player. But in the playoffs, he was a killer to what you tried to do in the playoffs. He got benched after game three of that Utah series because it was just like, can't win with him, he's too far behind. Nuggets made it three rounds where they didn't have to adjust anything with Porter. He was absolutely brilliant. This is a series that calls for something a little bit different. And it shows that there is still a little bit more for him to go in terms of focus, and in terms of the mental game. And to be quite honest with you, I think in a little bit of just the tough this department. That means a lot of different things. One of the things it means is you're not gonna not everything's gonna go the way you want. You're gonna have breakdowns. You're gonna have things that happen but just play. Run through the tape. Just play hard. I think that's what he was missing as much as anything in game two. Of course. And I think it was what he was missing as much as anything in the first half of this one. He still got benched in the late in the game. It's the right call. It was the right call. But I thought in the second half he ran through the... He just said, you know, F it. I'm gonna try to make plays. That offensive rebound yep. got... And he didn't even score it. Yep. He just kept the ball alive and I think somebody else scored it or at least got a yeah. chance. Play like that are those are winning plays it wasn't ugly it didn't look pretty and it's not going to make the highlight reel but i think there was something to okay that's what my team needs in this one and i think he's going to this might not be in a series for him guys i coming into the game i kept saying bruce is going to play a lot of minutes christian's going to play more minutes porter's going to play fewer it might continue a trend but this is a huge part in his own development and i actually think there's an encouragement to this and it's a lot easier to see it as encouraging when listen we have short memories it's not that long ago game one this is exactly what he did he could not hit those shots. Right. He was everywhere. His work rate has never been more impressive. He earned an A- minus for me in that game. I think game two was so bad he got in his head and it permeated and spread into the first half of this game, but I liked his energy in the third quarter. And I'll just say this. There are some people in the chat I saw your first thoughts on this game. The first thing you had to say were criticizing MPJ and his mental toughness. And if what you say about him is true, the Nuggets wouldn't be here and he would not be here. He would not be playing professional basketball. He did it in game one. He did it in the second half of this game. His effort can be there. His impact can be there. The shot may come. Giving up on Mike now as a coach or a fan or a team is loser shit. But I don't think it's giving up. No, no, no. I'm not saying that you... I understand that giving Even them alone, like... I understand. Giving the minutes to Christian and Bruce, if you have to do it, you have to do it. But you start MPJ. And if he plays well and he's defending and you hit his shots, he plays 40 minutes like he did in game one. If he doesn't, you adjust to Christian Brown and Bruce. And then as a fan, you could applaud the F from Christian and Bruce. But if you jump straight to attacking Porter's character because he struggled for six games in the final... Have you seen that? Yes, I have. I'm online as much as anyone. Uh. And I'm read the chat. I've seen it. You're out of your mind and you've lost the thread. He's here and the Nuggets are here because of how mentally tough he is. He's been terrible for six quarters. He can be better. If you have to move to Christian or Bruce, you do it. But guess what? That's a feature of this roster, not a blemish, all right? So it's all about getting wins. And you know who knows that? Mike. Did he play well? No. Is this a unnecessary adjustment in this game? Yes. But sell your Mike stock if you want. I'm telling you, it's loser shit. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I get it. He, came, he, he rebounded. He came back. He was mentally out of it in the first half in a way that was like, I was very, uh, his body language was terrible. His approach was terrible. His demeanor was terrible. Felt the weight of Michael Porter Jr. not being able to pull himself into this, the, into the, the series early. And like, let's not forget, that's a max level player. Like that is, that should be our third cornerstone of what is a three headed monster. Right. It's not that like, I'm not selling my MPJ stock. It is frustrating. It is disappointing. I'll say is that you would think that in a series like this, where there are so many opportunities for him to get wide open shot that he would would be a little bit more to the challenge because we've seen him do it in t times past. We've right. seen him do it in other series. It's like there are knocks against Michael Porter Jr. which are totally valid and have been borne out over his career and there are times when you think he's completely over it. He's just not a complete basketball player at this exact moment in time. Sure. He is also one of the most transcendently talented players. It's so frustrating that the Mike conundrum at times is like man why? Why is it like this? I like I would think you would think that I mean Jamal Murray has a game like his as well where it, it can be the finesse part can just go away and my, my, like Jamal Murray at times can be like kind of taken out of it but like and I like tonight Jamal Murray is like that's it I'm in Michael Porter Jr. is like and mercifully like everybody the, the, the other players around him are able to lift him up because they no one in that locker room doesn't believe in Mike either right, right, right. there's just so much there and it's frustrating but like I mean whatever fuck it we ball like the Nuggets great tonight and it is right. all about the construction of the roster if your finesse player isn't isn't hitting like okay break in the dirty dog player. Right. Like, let's get it done. But I would like to see Michael Porter Jr. hit a three. I'd yep. like to see it. Well, first of all, he only got two today. And the thing is, is part of their game plan is trying, is clearly trying to take away Casey. KCP's in this as well. He's kind of almost he getting, a, he's almost shielded because Porter, you know, we're thinking this or that, but they're clearly loading there. The nice thing about this is you win game four, those guys might be wide open after that because you have to adjust the other yes. way. Like, all right, this isn't working. Yes. And then they can deliver the death blow. But do you have any thoughts on Michael Porter here, Dev? A lot, a lot <laughs> of thoughts on him. But like, let's get, I really 
really think it's just Jesus. it's a tough spot to be in because uh, really you have to be frustrated. This is a max player, you know, not living up to that. The only reason that we're not super mad about it is because they won the game. If yeah, they lost. lost. Yeah, you're gonna blame him sure. because he does need to step up. Of course, he does won by hit shot. He does need to impact the game in different ways, and I think that's where the frustration comes. He hasn't been good offensively for the entire final. Right. Game one was good because he had the effort. He played hard. He, you know, grabbed every rebound. He was trying to, you know, engage defensively. You have not seen that in the last six quarters, like you said. You have not seen that. Um, it might be longer than that. But he, he's, he's not playing to his potential, and it's shielded because they did win the game. Um, so you want Michael Porter Jr. to just get back to the small thing. When when Michael Porter Jr. came over to Denver, it was about can you shoot the ball? Can you knock down shots? Can you be a max player? Then he got his contract and he showed a little bit of those things. But then Michael, I mean Michael Malone broke him down where it's like, hey, you can impact the game. You could win games in various ways. You can still be Michael Porter Jr. without only shooting the ball. I think they forgot that in the last couple of games because he is frustrated because he is so much in his head where the the other things went out the window and he's back to the guy that's like hey I just you know I want to I want to win I want to I want to find different ways to be me so I think that you you could be okay by saying hey don't give up stock but also as a fan you want him to be better because he's supposed to be sure. better he gets paid to be better do do something it's else. fair to want him to be better yeah. yeah I just think that's different you know than hopping off the train game one was not that long ago he was excellent in game one excellent what do, do you think though that possible the series is just not a Mike series I think Mike got in his head because he couldn't hit a shot and I think yeah. for six quarters it, it, but he only got two shots today in 21 minutes like he usually will get seven eight nine yeah, but that's that's in your head. that is that is a good oh because it's not taking him and, and also i think the rest of his teammates i think there's moments where Jokic might have passed it to him in february and tonight he went like, the yeah. other way to kiss did yeah they were he had his back to him it, like there were times where he was wide open it was like yo hit mike hit mike hit yeah, mike for sure and, and they went away from it and that's all right man it's been six quarters where he hasn't played well he's been great in the playoffs he's had a great season man you gotta have faith in this guy he's gonna come back he's gonna play defense he's gonna rebound he's gonna hit shots and if he doesn't then you audible to bruce and christian and if they play well you give him a round of applause focused on his contract right now it's loser shit you've lost the thread they I, think, I think you're two in the comment never read them the comments are real though right <laughs> so yeah, they, they are but they're also well they're the real people who watch our show so i'm talking to them